God bless you friends, God bless you. I just wanted to share a quick little message with you. I wanted to talk about Revelation chapter three. Revelation chapter three, there's a really famous verse in there which we often talk about and it's one of my favorites friends. But I wanna talk about the following verse. But first let me just mention the preceding verse um, in verse 20 because it says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And Jesus is basically knocking on the door of our hearts. This is a message to believers. This is a message to the church, friends. This is not a message to unbelievers. This is a message to the church. And Jesus is saying, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Another translation says that we will share a meal together as friends. You see, friends, there are levels of intimacy. We can have Jesus on the outside or we can open the door of our heart and get him in. Friends, the following verse then goes on to say, to him who overcomes. Friends, this is what's happening. As we as we allow Jesus to enter into our heart, we become an overcomer. Hallelujah. It's the only way to be an overcomer. It's the only way to have have a victory over the devil. It's the only way to have victory over sin when we welcome Jesus into our hearts. Oh, hallelujah. He goes on to say something phenomenal. In, in verse 21, he says, I will grant, this is to him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Friends, that overcoming life is the same overcoming life that Jesus experienced. That is what he's giving to us. Hallelujah. And he gives us that wonderful honour of sitting on his throne. Now, this isn't God's throne where Jesus is now sitting and where he is ever interceding for us. This is Jesus' throne. And he's saying that I will give you the right to come and sit on my throne with me. Oh, hallelujah. What a glorious thing that is. We can actually see, friends, in, in Matthew, Matthew 19, 28, Jesus said this to the disciples. This isn't a new concept. This isn't a new concept in Revelation. Hallelujah. Jesus says, assuredly, I say to you that in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Hallelujah. And you might say, well, that's for the disciples. Surely that's for the 12 disciples. That's not for us. Well, that's true, friends. That is specifically there for the disciples. But in Revelation, it's specific. In Revelation 3.21, this is a letter written to the church. And it says, to him who overcomes. To him who overcomes, friends. It's the one who overcomes. He gives the right to sit on his throne. Hallelujah. The right to sit on Jesus' throne with him. Friends, I want to share with you. I want to share with you a, a, a phenomenal dream vision that I had about 18 years ago. Hallelujah. I went to bed one night, friends, and, and suddenly I found myself in this white elevator. It was only wide enough to fit one person. And I was, I found myself standing in it and the elevator started to ascend high and it kept on going and going and going. Eventually it came to a stop and the little doors opened and I walked out and I walked out into this bright white vast place it was so vast friends but I couldn't see anything I couldn't see anything there because the white was so bright hallelujah what I could make out in the whiteness there was a white throne it didn't look like a throne that we would probably imagine it was very simple it was a very simple block it was like a white throne but it was like I knew it was it was Christ's throne hallelujah and then Jesus came up to me friends I couldn't see his face because again it was so white everything was so white but I could see his outline and I could see his white figure and he came towards me friends he came towards me and he ushered me towards the throne and he sat down he sat down on his throne and then friends he did something awesome something absolutely awesome which still blows me away today he he moved over he moved over and then with his hand he ushered to me he ushered to me to come and sit down with him friends and I sat down on the throne with Christ hallelujah hallelujah in the morning friends in the morning I told my wife we were driving to work and um and, and we, we stopped midway and I was telling my wife the dream oh hallelujah and I just began to weep 
bitterly. I began to weep bitterly, friends. Oh, hallelujah, because I had a revelation. I was not worthy. I was not worthy. I was not worthy, friends. And I felt like I had, I had done the unpardonable sin because I'd sat on the throne with Christ. I thought, what a blasphemy. I can't do that. Hallelujah. And I, did, I wasn't aware at that time, friends. I wasn't aware at the time that this is a promise given to them who overcome. And that's what Jesus was showing me right back then, friends, that if I overcome, if I overcome, then he will give me the right to sit down with him. And it was such a beautiful experience, friends. He just moved over. Friends, Jesus isn't arrogant. He isn't saying, I'm the ruler. No, he, he wants to give He wants to give that rulership over to us as well because he loves us so much. We will rule and judge the nations, friends, to him who overcomes. And so so friends, this is what I want to say to you today, friends. He's offering it out to all of us. Friends, he's offering it out to us today. And he's saying to him who overcomes, he's saying, open the door. Friends, we only have this one life to do this. Friends, we have one life to do this. And we don't want to, we don't want to escape, do we, into heaven by the skin of our teeth. We don't want to just get in there as if by fire and everything burnt away and we're left with nothing. No, I, I, want to, I want to wear the victor's crown. I want to sit on the throne with Christ and I want to rule. Hallelujah. Don't you want to rule with Christ? Hallelujah. Don't you want to be at his side? Don't you want to be at the side of Jesus? I want to be at his side. I don't want to be on the, on the peripheral. I I want to be close to him. I want to be close nearby. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's calling out to the church. He's saying, come on, come on. He wants to be next to us too. He wants to enjoy that time with us as we reign together with our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Can you imagine it, friends? Can you imagine it? Talking about thrones, imagine the great white throne. Imagine the great white throne and the Father upon the great white throne and that beautiful rainbow above the great white throne. Imagine it friends imagine it imagine worshiping the lord with the 24 elders hallelujah imagine worshiping with the 24 elders hallelujah holy 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 and the four living creatures as they cry holy 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 is the lord god almighty oh friends i can't wait i can't wait to worship the lord what a worship service friends if we think we've been in a worship service this is nothing this is nothing in this world hallelujah what is to come friends what is to come is absolutely awesome and we're going to reign with christ we're going to reign with christ and we're going to say holy 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 can you imagine walking down the streets of gold hallelujah hallelujah god is going to restore all things he's going to restore all things friends hallelujah 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 and we 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 we, we want that don't we friends I, and i want that and i know that you want that friends and i pray today i pray today for us friends that we will overcome you see that intimacy with christ is the only way it's the only way to see the devil run away out of our lives it's the only way to see sin that entanglement of sin that keeps us from achieving what christ wants us to achieve that that entanglement of sin that stops us from going out into all the world to preach this glorious gospel friends all those things come to an end as we say christ come in in. How do we open our hearts, friends? How do we open that door? We surrender. We surrender all. We give up all the things, friends, that are so important to us. We give up all the things that are so important. We surrender. We actually surrender all. You know that wonderful, beautiful song, I surrender all. I surrender all. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that we will surrender and, and swing the door open and welcome Jesus in and be overcomers, friends. Be overcomers and sit with him on his glorious throne. So God bless you, friends. God bless you. God bless you today. And may you know, may you know this intimacy. May we all know this intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ today. Bye-bye. God bless you.